A few days ago, I noticed that Thor Love and Thunder was now on Disney Plus, and I have a few thoughts. Hear me out. What do you think you would call the worst movie in the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe? I mean, if you had to pick one, I think this was it. I think this was definitely the one. Okay, seriously, what was the point of this movie? Because it feels like they were trying to be really funny, but they sort of like missed the whole point of the movie. If it wasn't for Christian Bale and maybe some scenes with Natalie Portman, I swear this movie would have been a complete joke. If you watch the first like five-ish, eight-ish minutes of this movie, when you're watching Christian Bale as like gore and it's being revealed and the heartbreak of him losing his daughter and he's pleading to the God. Okay, before you even get to the God, I mean, you're like, wow, you're like, yo man, this thing is like really captivating. Like I can't wait to see where this story goes. And then... We meet the first god and then we're like are marvel movies actually like turning into comedies now did i miss the memo i mean i've seen them slowly trying to get like more comedic and like less dark and i know like the first couple the first maybe couple of movies of thor were like really dark and deep and he was like so conflicted i mean with pain and blah 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 love jane blah 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 love feels like Everyone in this movie just phoned it in. Like the writers, the directors, they all just phoned it in. What's with Thor like doing this whole backtracking thing in his entire like evolution? And now he's like, to being like a real like deep hero, the guy who suffered the tragedy like happened in Infinity and he felt so much guilt about what had happened to everyone who had died, how he failed to kill Thanos. And you know, he's, he redeemed himself and you know, they brought everyone back. And then this is this is what happens after thanos like wiping out sacred monuments of like people's planets and then waiting for a thank you i am really grateful for natalie portman who plays uh jane Fonda because i think she's always been great i don't know why they never took her like role in the movie like more seriously and they sort of like left her out in like some of the other movies after dark world or something and then they tried to do this whole recap thing of their relationship in this movie. And I thought it was just lazy. It was even done really badly. I liked her story arc in this one. Like, you know, she's sick and she's dying. And then Mjolnir, like, calls to her or something. And then she has, like, the power of Thor. And then she's kicking more ass than Thor himself. And he's basically a joke. And he's riding that axe thing. I'm really trying to understand what other people liked in it. I mean, Edgar, I'm talking to you, bro. Like, I don't know why this movie exists. Look, when you go through, like, the menus and stuff on, like, Disney Plus and you're trying to, like, find a Marvel movie to watch and you're looking at it and you're like, okay, so if I had to watch, like, the Spider-Man movies all over again or maybe Iron Man or maybe Captain America or maybe even you go through, like, the Avengers movies, you know, from, like, the first one to, like, the last one, Endgame, and then you realize, like, after Endgame, what happened? I watched Eternals. It is honestly, like, my second favorite movie in the entire Marvel Universe. People hated on it. I don't know why. I loved it. I mean, the visuals. It wasn't so laughy, you know, let's crack jokes. I mean, Kuma, Kumail Nanjiani? Kumail? Kumail Nanjiani? I've forgotten his character. But he was dope. He was funny. Plus, he's guy he's like personal assistant guy i mean th that's all we needed for like comic relief in that movie eternals is a really good movie and then we get spider-man no way home which was in my opinion the best spider-man movie and then i mean if we're not counting the tv shows in between and then you come out and then you're like oh let's go watch so love and thunder i mean i had seen the trailer and i was like oh god this is going to be so bad this is going to be so bad it was really bad indeed like this movie out of 10 i give it like a three one for christian bale two for natalie portman and three for the kids you have to give the kids a point otherwise you're just just a 
I think I want to watch it again tonight.